right, another sort of one-off here at the Junk Wax Zone. We got, again, out of that large quantity of random wax we acquired, we got some 1991 Topps Baseball. Again, early 90s baseball, I would say, is the epitome of Junk Wax, but uh, here we are. Well, we got gum in here, but she is stuck to the cards. Quite substantially stuck, actually. In fact, we got some real issues with this pack. Oh boy. Well, we'll do what we can here. We've got a Jamie Moyer, Billy Spears, Dwight Smith, Derek Lilliquist. Sandy Alomar. Oh, it's a rookie here. Maybe that's something. Probably not. My old Cecil Fielder. Quite the slugger in his day. Tom Hankey. That's a, that's a real nice pick there. He was quite the pitcher with the Jays in the early 90s, I remember, when they were winning those World Series. Kind of a big deal up here in Canada. The rest of this pack is pretty much ruined. So not much we can do with these. Rick Dempsey, Brad Arnsberg, and Willie Fraser. So I'd say no major loss there, but uh, definitely, definitely some junky cards. All right, let's see what we got here. That, that opens shockingly easily. Again, the gum is welded to these cards. So this one might be a pretty bad uh, bust here. We got Tom Glavin. Lance Johnson, Spike Owen, Otis Nixon, oh, some of the last years of the old Montreal Expos, Carlos Quintana, Rex Hudler, Chris Quinn, or there's a relation to Tony, Jeff Pico, and this gum seems to be welded on the back here as well. Once again, the last few cards are to be destroyed here. Jeff Pico, Dennis Lamp. Say no loss there. What else we got here? Oh boy. Well, those are not going anywhere, but uh, well, they're not going anywhere but straight to the garbage, I'd say. But uh, on to the next year. Again, these packs are opening up very easily, which is strange as they the gum and cards can be welded together, but the uh, the wax seems to open up shockingly easily. So, let's see what we got here. All right. Well, we got a Cal Ripken, Iron Man of the league in those days. Lance Blankenship, Oakland days. Boy, these cards are. Got a Charlie O'Brien. Roy Smith sort of sandwiched in there. Who's on the bottom here? We can probably tell on the back. J something or another. All right, we got a Tim Tufel, Dave Lapointe, Tim Belcher, Charlie Hayes, Dave Segui, David Segui. Not too much again. Can't say we were expecting much out of these, and they seem to be delivering even less. Let's see what we got next year. Well, we got a Texas Ranger here on the bottom, but it's not uh, Nolan Ryan, unfortunately. Okay, we got a checklist here that's checkered with gum. Well, we'll do what we can here. Got a Corey Snyder. Oh, there's one stuck with Dennis Cook. Jeff Huston. Gerald Clark, Frank Robinson, manager, Alex Cole, and a Bobby Valentine as manager. Let's see if we can get any better look at these cards. Uh, we got a Gary Getty, or Gayetti, however that is pronounced. Not much of a baseball guy. This last checklist card here, again, is uh, destroyed, I would say. It's a risk you get with these old wax packs. You never know how they've been stored. 
These must have been in damp or hot conditions, I'm assuming, judging from... I've never seen them so messed up as these. This gum just looks absolutely disgusting, too. To save that for Blake. All right, we got Mike Greenwell, Jim Presley, Tim Burke, Lee Stevens, Don Powell. And in the uh, sticky cards here, we got Lou Pinella, manager, Adam Pat Peterson. A bit of gum dislodged there. Got a Pete Incaviglia. Jeff Kunal. And this bottom card, if we can get it apart here. Mike Walker. Anyhow, this is probably the roughest wax pack opening I've ever done here. These are some pretty rough cards, and I guess the only consolation is that I don't think 1991 Tops has a card worth over a buck anyways. So, what the hey, it was still fun opening them. Thanks for joining us at the Junk Wax Zone.